Hi guys, it's me Faye here at Faye Dusk and I would like to welcome you to part 2 of my witchy book haul. Oh my god, my dog keeps coming down, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to um, introduce you to part 2 of my witchy book haul. The first one will be linked in the description box if you want to watch the first part. And so for this second haul, I went to the works, which is a, for those of you that don't live in the UK. Um, in the UK it's like a big discount bookstore and they have some really good books. Um, it's where I buy or have bought quite a lot of my like different uh, pagan and witchy books and you can get them at really good prices and they've been really really good. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. And I was excited as well because I go into the works a lot and I purposely go in there looking for... They don't have a lot of pagan and witchy books usually and they don't have a separate section for it. They include it in their like health sort of section. And so I always go in there and zone in there just to see if they've got any new books that I would like that I don't have. So I... So I was like, I went in there and straight away they had loads that I didn't have. So I try and go in there every time I go to towns or every few weeks. And for ages they maybe had like one or two every so often that I don't have new ones that I want that I'll buy. But this time they had loads so I was so excited. So I will just stop talking and show you the books. This first one is Meditation Healing Book and Card Pack which is energise your mind and restore your body. And so this one is the cards there. And that one, top one there is Reflection. And then the book is Meditation Healing. Well, obviously it's the book that goes with it. And it's got like a description of each card and a simple exercise that you can do. And it's really nice and glossy. And I like that... There, but I like the way that because I've got a few of these different types of these sort of books, but I like the way that they're like attached. And it's only four ninety nine, and then you got the cards there, and you can store them in there. So I got that one. Another one that was similar is Dream Healing Book and Card Pack. So, and this one's Understand Your Deepest Desires and Hidden Emotions, and that one's a beautiful card. That card there is a beautiful one of the moon, and then the book. The accompanying book, which has got it's basically the power of dreams, like capturing your different things, but capturing your dreams, unlocking your dreams, like dream divination, and just got loads of different things like exercises to do and how to relax, and about each of the cards and what they mean, and it's just really, really interesting. And one in this first bag I saw all oh, my legs I'm sorry my legs aches so I had to move them uh this one was the only one left and it says when it's gone it's gone this is RRP 999 I got it for 3.99 and it's the encyclopedia of eastern mythology and so there's all the legends of the myths of the east so I mean, it's like gods and heroes and warriors of ancient Egypt Arabia um Persia India Tibet China and Japan and I saw this and I just thought, I do, I am interested in Eastern mythology. It's not like, I know some people like have a massive, massive, like incorporate into their path and have a massive, massive passion for Eastern mythology. But I um, prefer like Native American spirituality. And to be fair, I do, I am interested in this and that's why I got it because I thought it was a really good hardback and it had like a lot in it. And there's like an A to Z guide in the mythologies and, um, it just looked really good so if I show you and it's really nice and clear and glossy and it's a really nice thick book and um, this one is the mother goddess so it's about mother goddess and there's pictures and uh what else is there the myths of China Japan and Southeast Asia uh myths of the flood underworlds dying angels and Dijan myths of India so it's just really interesting. Buddhasattas. Uh, so yeah, so it's really interesting. So I thought, yes, I will get that. 
then in my next bag kids I have not done yet what by a long shot because there was just so many books this time I got so many books this one is a wicker one as you know I love my, love my wicker books when I see them and it's by Amory Gallagher and it's wicker for everyday living the definitive guide to magic and the craft so basically it's just sort of like a beginner's book but I'm I thought originally that I was quite strange and that like I've been practicing the craft for a long time and I don't need beginner's books but I always tend to gravitate back to beginner's books but I've seen other people like who have been in the craft a long time themselves who sort of like have sort of gone full circle now and they sort of come back to beginner's books it's just a nice sort of reference book for your bookshelf sometimes it's nice sometimes when you're just want to check up a correspondence or something or something you haven't written your book of shadows but you don't want to try and find it in like a really complicated like the third, third degree coven initiation book so it's, sometimes it's nice just to have a basic sort of everything laid out and i just find them fun to read so yeah so this one's just got obviously about about Wicca, uh, about the God and Goddess, like the tools, the elements, the sabbats, and yeah, about herbal lore and visualization and about um, casting a circle and rituals, correspondences, spell work, and yeah, so I look forward to reading that too. So I've got a lot of reading to do. <laughs> so this one is Tarot Life Planner. As soon as I saw this, I was excited because I plan on in the new year like I have a lot of different tarot decks and tarot books and things like that and as I've said to you before like in the past when I was younger I got really frustrated trying to learn the tarot and I really really want to make it one of my goals this year to actually properly properly grasp it I can do basic very basic spreads and basic interpretations but I properly want to feel where I feel comfortable and confident with the tarot and be able to offer readings for people and things like that so this one is about, uh, basically the synopsis says, the tarot puts the power of destiny into your hands. Find out how to reveal and change your future using the cards to bring success into every area of your life. Discover how to interpret the major and minor arcana by card. Find out how to use tarot to achieve your dreams from moving home to finding love. Harness the power of your mind to heal sickness and build in a house. It is by Lady Lorelei. So yeah, I just like, it's, again, I'm a really big fan when it's just like a nice book to hold, nice and glossy and just looks, looks good. So basically there's different parts, so like part one's like understanding the tarot and then obviously it's got information about all the cards and like their normal position and then their reversed meanings and, uh, and then you've got the third chapter is your present and future life, uh, personal manifestation, abundance lifestyle choice when enough is enough access the power of your mind scrying the tarot so yeah so it was uh i look forward to uh that being on my new year's list uh next one which was this one is a brand healing handbook which is the same as the wicker one was that same brand but this one is crystals for everyday living and discover how to transform your life through the power of crystals so, and I love crystal books, I have quite a few, but when I see new ones, I do get them. And again, this is just a nice book to hold. And uh, it's about the chakras and rebalancing the chakras, about different crystals and what you can use for different elements. Um, summary of how to, yeah, summary how to treat common elements, how crystals affect emotions, a uh, set of starter crystals, this is a good idea, like telling you what to what crystals to have for a basic sort of starter set, forms and variations of crystals, beginning with optimism, meditating with crystals, uh, jewellery, relaxation, anxiety and depression, I'm going to read that one, cool your anger, love and relationships, healing past hurt, crystals in your spirit, enhance your intuition, crystal meditation, dream crystals, so this one looks like a really good book, I'm looking forward to reading that. And then there's only two more left now. <laughs> This one is The Secret of Confident People. So it's not really technically a pagan book, but I'm including it in my witchy haul because for me I find these sort of very, uh, very, very uh, helpful. So this one's, yeah, this one's The Secret of Confident People. 
and I just like, I don't know, I just felt drawn to it. And it was sort of like understanding the power of your thoughts, um, as well like an introduction, uh, using multi-sensory language, creating a confident image, financial confidence, uh, building a confident organisation, the confident executive, the confident introvert, that will be interesting, confident influencer, uh, confident body so it just looked like a really interesting and this is like a whole series of loads of different books in this series and the other one i got in this series was the secret to happy people and it's laid out exactly the same sort of way this one is basically focus is on happiness and this one's if you can't beat them uh if you can't beat them beat them anyway compared to other people you're rubbish it's better to be worse off are you certain you want to be positive cut it out your best today is tomorrow so you think your life sucks, um, enjoy the things you hate, write your own obituary. Uh, so it just seems to be a sort of different take on how to like approach happiness. So I'm looking forward to reading that. So that's the end of my two-parter, very large book haul. So I hope that you enjoyed it. And let me know in the comments as well if you're planning on getting any of these books if you've read any of these books and if you have any sort of like recommendations and things like that of books you think that I would be that, I, that would be right on my street that I would be interested in reading and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bless.